EWTN invites you to join us for benediction and devotions from the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament at Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray the most, uh, the act of dedication of the human race to Jesus Christ, our King. Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, <clears throat> look down upon us humbly prostrate before you. We are yours, and yours we wish to be but to be more surely united with you. Behold, each one of us freely consecrates himself today to your most sacred heart. Many indeed have never known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus, and draw them to your sacred heart. <clears throat> be King, O Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned you. 
Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions or whom discord keeps aloof and call them back to the harbor of truth and the unity of faith so that soon there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give tranquility of order to all nations. Make the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry. Praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation. To it be glory and honor forever. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum. <coughs> Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Lucam. <coughs> the ruler snared at Jesus and said, he said, others let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, this is the King of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Verbum Domini Jesus Christ, our Lord and King and Savior, He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Christ's kingship is very distinct in His way of governing, in His way of ruling over the entire universe. He never governs or rules by force. He always governs with truth and with love. He always rules with justice and peace. Again, he never governs by force. He always, he always exercises, exercises kingship, kingship over, over the entire, entire universe, universe by, by letting all choose him freely. Our lives consist of making many choices. And these choices have eternal consequences. 
the eternal consequences are either eternal misery or eternal happiness. St. Dismas, the thief who had the chains of heart on Calvary, is a good example how one still making choices all the way to the last moment of one's life. Just a little personal note, you know, sometimes he's referred to as the good thief. I personally can't stand that reference of the good thief because there is no such thing as good thief. Thief is a thief. A thief steals from others. A thief robs others' possessions. I find it more fitting to call him the repentant thief because that's what happened to him. Most of the people at Calvary said all kinds of bad things against Jesus. And this includes both criminals. Both criminals crucified on either side of our Lord. If you read uh, Matthew's Gospel, for example, he mentioned that both of them did the same thing. And yet St. Luke pointed out to us about one of them that he changed the choices he's been making most of his life that led him to his condemnation. He chose not to continue joining the other guy saying bad things against Jesus crucified. He chose to say something right. Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And then he continued, and indeed, we have been condemned justly. By saying that, he himself, he himself acknowledged the bad choices he'd made in life. Many, many bad choices he made in life led him to where he's at, on the cross, on his deathbed, on his condemnation. And he confessed the bad choices he made in general. We have been condemned justly. And now look what happened. Not only did he say the right thing, basically he told the other thief to shut up. Not only did he do that, and not only did he acknowledge his own sinfulness, his deserving of that sentence, now he defended Christ the King. He said, the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes, but this man has done nothing criminal. He defended Christ. He defended Jesus. The repentant thief made his choices all the way until the last moment of his life. Again, most of his choices were probably not good, which led him to be crucified. But at that most critical moment of his life, he made several good choices. He chose to say the right thing. He chose to acknowledge his wrongdoing, and he chose to defend Christ. And then at the end, he surrendered himself with trust, and he acknowledged Christ's kingship. Jesus Remember me when you come into your kingdom. He acknowledged that Christ is king. You know, all of us, myself included, <clears throat> we have made uh, bad choices in life. Regardless, whether we're believers or not, we've all may made bad choices here and there. As believers, as Christians, as Catholics, sometimes we even fail to acknowledge His kingship over us by the poor choices we made in doing our will versus His. It's never too late. It's never too late. You know, God loves us so much that He gave His only begotten Son and through his passion, through his death, through his resurrection, 
He transferred, He empowers us to do good, to avoid evil and to do good and, uh, and to even choose a higher good or a better good. He empowers that uh, to us. Remember the repentant thief. He changed direction once he realized that he's been making bad choices. He said the right thing. He acknowledged his wrongness. He defended Christ. And then he surrendered himself to Christ's kingship over him. And we all can do the same.
Panem de celo prestitis tiejis. Oremos. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili passionis tue memoriam relequisti, tribue quesumus, ita nos corporis et sangunis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis igiter sensiamus, qui vivis et reinas in saecula saeculorum. This is together. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through men. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus. The most holy. <coughs> Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. 